What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Block Sprints. I'm at the block, and today, as most of you guys know, if you saw my haul video, I was lucky enough and fortunate to pick up a whole box of the Muffet CMS series. So I meticulously sat here for about two hours. So make sure you smash that like button, guys, for my efforts here. Uh, I spent two hours feeling my way through <laughs> these bags, all 36 of them, to make sure I have three full sets of 12. So I have three full sets of the complete. A collection of the Muffet minifigures. I'm gonna open all of them one by one to see if, how my skills are pretty much. And we're gonna see if we got all 12 here um, accurately. So stick around guys, it's gonna be a good one. All right guys, so again, as I told you, I went meticulously, felt through every single one of these. And uh, let's see let's see how good I am. Um, I, with the, the um, what is it, Looney Tunes CMF series? We were so so on figuring out which ones we uh, we could feel through. The uh, the Marvel ones completely disaster. I didn't even want to waste my time with them because they were super hard. Uh, but this one, I finally decided to just let's sit down, feel them out, and we're gonna see how good we did. So we're gonna do one by one, see what we got here, guys. Okay. So I wrote I wrote the name on the, on the top here to kind of let me know what I think it was. So you see up there it says Statler. So this one should be Statler. Let's see if we got it right. I'm too sweaty for this. Uh, yeah. At first when this popped out, I was like, oh no, it's Kermit. <laughs> but yeah, we got it. It's it's Sattler here. Sattler here looks pretty good. I don't remember much about him from the Muffet series. Um, but it looks pretty good with his little stash there, his little squinty eyes. And of course, he's got the little coffee with the uh, saucer there. And I'm not sure what that ZZZ, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he's sleepy all the time. So that's what it's referencing there. But again, guys, look for that square tile. Don't mistake it for Miss Piggy's, you know, rectangular tile. Um, it's got a nice little head mold there. The hair piece goes all the way around. No back print or anything like that. No arm print of any sort. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. Let's get on to the next one. Sure is him. So we're one for one, guys. We're gonna go on, open up the second one, and see what we see what we got next. All right. So the next one here should be Waldruff. All right. So my depictions are correct. Oh, so by the way, for the field guy, guys, for the first guy, um, I I think these were the most difficult ones. Um, here with uh, what's his name here, Statler and Waldruff here are the most difficult ones. But I felt for the cup here and for the little square. Now don't get it confused with Miss Piggy's. Uh, tile piece because Mr. Piggy's tile piece is a little more of a rectangular shape. So feel for this tile piece I think it's the only tile piece that's this size throughout the entire collection And then of course you got this special cup You just kind of feel for the whole of the cup and the handle you should be able to feel the roundness of the teacup and You should be good to go because it's kind of hard it, You can't actually feel the top of his head and the softness and then the roughness around his hair to know that You know that's possibly his head as well if you want to get an additional feel but it was pretty easy Picking out the tile and the cup. All right, so again, this should be Waldrop. And we can open it up and see what we got. Yeah, we're two for two. <laughs> All right, Waldrop here looks like a mean old man. I absolutely love his head mold, guys. I love that little butt chin that he has right there. It looks really good. Got a little wicked kind of looking eyes and the unibrow that he's got going and a really big nose. And of course, he's got that little laptop right there, as you can see. I'm not sure who he's... Well, yeah, it's Scooter that he's talking to there on his computer. But it's pretty cool. And he's got the nice little blue suit. I don't believe he has any back print. Um, no side print or anything like that. But you can see he has a nice little suit um, with the blue there. Blue tie. But that's uh, Waldrop right there. Pretty cool minifig. So we were right, guys. It is Waldrop. We're two for two. Specifically for Waldrop, guys, I, you know, felt for the, uh, the two, the, the pieces of the keyboard and this little computer right here. This one was probably the most difficult one because it's kind of hard for you feel for the head to see exactly what it was. But if you feel underneath the head, you feel from the hole underneath and then you feel that little, you can actually feel that little butt that he has, the little butt chin that he has right there. to kind of help you get an additional feel. But he is the only one that has two separate, separate tile pieces and that little small rectangular tile piece right here. So there's like three separate pieces that you feel for. That's how I was able to distinguish them. But again, you could also check for the butt and the head. All right, cool. So we're two for two. Uh, the next one I think here is Janice. And we're going to see. We've got it here. So for Janice, uh, it was pretty easy picking out her hair, actually. That's going to be the one thing to look for. Now let's see if we got it right. Yep. 
Awesome, guys. And also the guitar. You're going to feel for this guitar. You're going to feel for this lump on the guitar, but it's pretty easy to distinguish it. It's different from Kermit's because Kermit's is round. You can feel the roundness on Kermit's, and then the tip is a little bit different as well. So that's how you know this is Genesis. And then, of course, this hair piece. You can definitely put your fingers in between and feel that it has one solid back piece, and then the front for the, the hair coming to the front, you can kind of feel that there's two different hair pieces in the back there because it's kind of hard to feel for the wrist it kind of feels like the ball guys from the top here but once you started feeling the hair in the back and the two hair pieces in front you knew it was her but definitely the only guitar piece that she has in there you can definitely figure out with that here's janice and again guys feel for that guitar feel for that hair coming down the front and the back but it is pretty cool i love that it's got print on not only the torso but also the legs um no side actually it does have side print with the leg right there. i don't know if it's dough molded or what but i think it's just a print but again, nice little hair piece. She does look pretty wicked, pretty cool. Love the guitar. Um, she does have some back print there on the torso as well. But yeah, that's Janice, guys. Looks really good. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, we are on a roll. So I, I, we're going to go straight ahead here. And this is, uh, I put Dr. B here. So I think it's Dr. Benson or something like that. Um, this one uh, was kind of hard until I found his beaker. Not as, yeah, it's beaker. Not beaker, but I found his beaker. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he got it right. Uh, we're four for four. <laughs> Here we got Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and he looks pretty dank. I absolutely love his head molding there. That little, very bland, very plain, but it looks really funny with his little glasses and his plain looking face. He looks like he's just working on some project, some kind of experiment. And of course, that little beaker right there that's what you guys are looking for in the field once you guys identify that you know you have dr bunsen here dr bunsen honey do no back print no arm print or any sort but it is a pretty cool minifigure i love the, the little suit with the little pin and everything and his pocket pins and everything so it looks pretty cool again guys kind of hard to feel for the head and everything not sure again with the baldness it feels like one of the other minifigs but well, once you find this piece in there that little beaker it's very easy to distinguish it the roundness and then the skinny top right there, the beaker, very distinguishable in the bags. The only one that feels like it in the bags. So that's how you'd be able to find them real easy. All right, next up, we got Miss Piggy's. Unlike Statler here, this guy has a square tile piece right here. Miss Piggy's gonna have a more of a rectangular, his, her portrait or whatever it is. I think it's her portrait. We're gonna find out here. Um, it has this rectangular piece in there that really identifies her. And then once you grab the hair, it's a head that's a very big, I think it's the biggest head that we have in there. It feels really big. And you could definitely feel for the snout like feature and then kind of crawl up and feel for her ears. So the snout is very uh, distinguishable. But again, just feel for the rectangular tile piece and you should be fine. Well, let's see if we got it. Yeah, absolutely. Miss Piggy here looks absolutely adorable. To be honest, when I used to watch the Muppets, Miss Piggy was the most annoying of the Muppets. I hated her screaming. I hated her whining. But she's a pig. That's what she does. She whines. <laughs> and again, guys, when you guys are looking for her, that stout right there, that nose that you see right there on the minifig, it's, it's very identifiable, guys. And of course, you have that towel piece. It's the only rectangular tile piece right there you have a little poster i guess of her miss piggy but this miss piggy looks absolutely amazing she got some torso prints some leg prints some side leg print some arm painting i'm not sure if it's a print yeah it's a print with little silver it looks like she has silver bracelets and everything the back has some printing the hair looks absolutely amazing of course with the little piggy ears popping up the top and it just looks absolutely amazing really good job lego looks really good we are five for five so yes, this is Miss Piggy, and just like I said, guys, this little portrait, <laughs> this little portrait of herself, um, definitely way to distinguish her. All right, guys, we're five for five, and we should go six for six with Kermit here. And of course, after Miss Piggy, I got to do Kermit. But uh, Kermit again was fairly easy to find. You could you could feel the mouth because it's open and everything. You can kind of stick your your fingers in the head of, of the minifigure. But the one thing that very uh, distinguishable about the pack and you can easily identify is his guitar uh, or his banjo i would say i think it's a banjo so what <laughs> we're gonna see all right we are six for six <laughs> And here we have Kermit the Frog. Hey, no, I'm, that's that's my bad impersonation of Kermit. 
<laughs> but Kermit looks absolutely amazing too, guys. Um, you know, they keep it pretty basic. Those are no leg print, a very basic, you know, torso prints. She got a really cool banjo that he has right there, and then that little rainbow. I'm not sure what the rainbow represents, but guys, that's pretty much what you're gonna feel for the rainbow, the banjo. Once you feel that, you can definitely know you have Kermit in your hands, and of course, you can definitely feel for the head. It's pretty unique with the wide or the open, open mouth, the mouth wide open, and the, the eyes up there at the top. He does have some back print as well. But it is a really good minifigure nonetheless, guys. I love this little Kermit. Kermit with Piggy. Kermit always getting harassed by Miss Piggy, yeah. <laughs> so again, guys, Mr. Kermit, really easy to find, to kind of feel for the mouth and the, the elongated nose and everything. And you can actually feel the two little balls on top of his head as well if you kind of push against it. And you can feel the ball. I also identified this slope tile piece, the rainbow here. It is the only slope tile piece in the entire set as well. So another good identifier. So with Kermit, it was very easy to identify, guys. And of course, with the banjo, again, that's round as opposed to uh, Janice over here with the guitar. Had more like the Fender kind of, find, kind of feel with the, you know, the slopes and everything. This is just a nice round with, with the, the neck there. You can definitely identify the difference. All right, guys, moving right along. Hopefully, we can go seven for seven. So this one's going to be Gonzo. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go seven for seven here, guys, because Gonzo was damn, probably the easiest one. It's one of the first ones I started to feel. And right away, I was like... Yeah, that's Gonzo's nose. <laughs> it's Gonzo's nose. And you can also feel for the small chicken in there, kind of feel for the body, the little kind of you, almost banana feel of a body, but with kind of, it's like a banana with a big old, like, hemorrhoid or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, I would say it's like a banana with a large tumor or something, but yeah, that's how you feel for the chicken It's got a little u-shape to it um, And then uh, of course you can't miss the nose. So let's see. Let's see if we're right with Gonzo here yeah, buddy. Gonzo is probably one of the favorites of the bunch if not the favorite. I love Gonzo He was always after Miss Piggy trying to get after Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy would never give him the time of day I love this. They did a great job with Gonzo. They gave him some arm printing, gave him some leg printing. Holy crap. <laughs> I put his legs on backwards. Hold up. <laughs> All right. Much, much better. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't notice I put his legs on backwards there, guys. But, yeah, it's, it's an amazing body print, leg print, arm print. The mold on the head and that's definitely how you're going to find gonzo you, you cannot mistake that big old curvy nose when you're looking for him and of course you can also identify the little chicken right there kind of feels like a fat banana like i said <laughs> but uh that is gonzo get there's his back print right there all the little chili peppers the red hot chili peppers <laughs> uh, but that is gonzo guys this is probably my favorite one right here guys i love it let's move on to the next one great tie yeah guys Gonzo, way too easy to feel for that. And <laughs> kind of probably a little exaggerated for the mini <laughs> figure here, but it was too easy to find. Um, definitely a, one of my favorites. But all right, guys, seven for seven. I'm feeling really good about these guys. I've never felt better. Well, it's only my third CMS series, but I feel really good about them, guys. I don't think I'm going to have to open the other bags and kind of keep them sealed. This one should be on the move. <laughs> Now for animals, real easy finding his drums. Find for all the circular circular pieces. It has the most like circular like pieces, including the, um, the the tile circular pieces, and then this like I don't know if you want to call it a one or two by tile piece or whatever. Uh, you you'll find these in this circular pieces, this circular piece, and then even the symbol is circular but a little slanted. Um, you, you're gonna find you're gonna feel this piece right here, um, and you might even feel the drumsticks so um definitely guys uh, i'm not sure it's probably a piece of the drum definitely animal has one of the most pieces so once you start feeling all kinds of little tiny pieces especially these circular pieces here you know it's animal you got them so pretty cool seven for seven here we go with animal this is definitely my one of my favorites it's going to be probably my second favorite here it is absolutely amazing i love love the print that they put on his torso and on his pants on that little drum base right there that little mouth is a is a printed piece yes it is the mouth open up right there they got a little print in the inside of the mouth love his little black unit brow he's got the drumsticks right there ready to jam out but look at that nice arm print as well dual molded legs got a nice headpiece there 
Also got some really nice back print. Looks absolutely amazing. This one is definitely, yeah, one of my favorites, guys. I, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Between him and Gonzo, it's hard. But I, I definitely do love Gonzo. But, guys, yeah, this is definitely what you're... Uh, what you're going to be looking here for is the drum pieces. You're going to look for all the round circular drum, drum pieces from his drum set right here. Pretty easy to identify, guys. Once you, you have identified all the circular pieces, you know you got them in your hands. All right, guys, bag number nine here should be Fozzie. Fozzie the Bear. Oh, waka, waka, waka. Actually, one of my favorites as well. Uh, I'm going to open them up and uh, see if we got it right, guys. Oh, yeah. You got it right. Waka waka waka. Ah, waka waka. <laughs> Here we go with Fozzie Bear. And Fozzie Bear is definitely a fan favorite as well. One of my favorites as well. Definitely in the top three probably. But this guy looks really good, guys. I love the print that they put all throughout his body to kind of identify his fur. I wish they would do that more often. But you can see he's got print down on his legs, down on his toes. He's got that big pink nose it looks really great of course he's got his banana uh probably a banana that somebody chucked at him or something like that but you can see you turn him around he's got some nice molding in the top of his head there still got some nice back print arm print as well side leg print it's all there guys of course you got his mic you can't give Fozzie out here without his mic he's going to put on a show for us guys absolutely amazing minifigure again one of my favorites so for Fozzie, very simple Find the banana. Bananana. <laughs> it's it's the only one in there. You'll easily be able to find it and feel it out and know that it's a banana. If you want to go ahead and feel for Fozzie's head, that's how I felt it. I felt the flatness of the top of the hat here. And then when you walked out to the side, you feel the kind of rough little circles here, little round uh, ears that you can feel here. You can definitely stick your finger in the nose. When you push against the bag, you can... Feel, you can see, uh, identify Fozzie's nose a little bit as well. So, But more importantly, guys, just look for the banana. You'll be good. All right, guys, feeling really good. Um, definitely think we're going to get it here. These, uh, it's, it's just hard to go wrong with some of these guys. If you guys pay attention to what I'm telling you guys here, it's, it's it was fairly easy, guys, um, to figure them out. Here with Chef, the top hat, very identifiable, identifiable because it's, it's not a hat and a head. So... It's a fairly big headpiece, and you can feel the roundness at the top of the, the chef hat there. And then you can also feel for the little tiny, um, what's it called, the little mixture that he has there, the little mixing tool. The tomato is also identifiable. Let's see. Yeah, we got it, chef. Here we got Sue Chef. Uh, man, <laughs> he looks really good. I absolutely love that head molding. It looks really good. You know, the fact that he's got his eyebrows pretty much covering his entire eyes. They did a really great job with it. He's got some nice print on his torso. Also got some nice print on his legs. Uh, nice print on his arms. I don't know, the side, yep, side leg print as well. There's his back print right there. It looks pretty good. And again, that head mold right there comes with that, um, that, that hair, that, that chef's hat. It's all one mold, and it looks absolutely amazing, guys. They did a really great job. So that's what you're going to be feeling for. Again, you're going to be feeling for that hat. It's that very unique feel, that top hat. It kind of feels like a mushroom. And then you can also feel for those little tools right there, those mixers that he has. You can feel for the what feels like an additional like uh, minifig head, which is going to be the tomato, the laughing tomato. And that little leaf is also pretty distinguishable as well. <laughs> that's a cool little tomato, guys. Yeah, but that's him. That is the chef. Absolutely amazing minifigure, guys. Definitely a lot of identifiable pieces in here with the hat, with the little mixers here, the tomato and the tomato leaf right there. All right, so this one, another one of my favorites here is Mr. Ralph. Ralph, um, God, I don't remember what we used for Ralph. I'll, I'll figure out once I open it. His ears, I did use part of his ears for the head. Um, ah, yes. Well, Ralph, he has the extra headpiece. So you're going to look for the extra headpiece, which is the head of the bus here. You have the head that goes on this little tiny bus. This is the most identifiable piece in there. You'll feel for the little curves on the inside, and then you'll feel for the nub at the top. And you know that's the only piece in there that has it like that. Kind of looks like an anvil. And that is for the bus right here. So you, had a, you have a little mini fig head in there as well. And then if you want to go the extra mile, you can also feel for the little tile piece here with the little rounded ledge right there 
kind of like a, a little keyboard or something like that or it looked like uh, the other notes so you can look for that tile piece as well and then also feel for the head he's got the big nose I pressed against the bag and looked at his nose he's got a pretty unique identifiable big fat round nose so all right and here we got our musician Ralph he looks absolutely amazing as well I absolutely love the head looks really good very accurate depiction of our musician here he's got his little music note and again that little bust right there is what you're going to be looking for when you're looking for the feel you can definitely distinguish his head as well because you can kind of feel those ears flopping down underneath the head and he's got that really big round nose as well so you can definitely feel for those but once you feel for that bust right there that little bust right there is going to be very distinguishable but there he is guys it is ralph and he looks awesome all right guys so if we are correct, then my feel was on point and I'm not going to have to open any one of these other bags right here. I'm just going to kind of put them away and figure out what I'm going to do with them later. But last one here should be Beaker. So for Beaker, uh, what do we, his head, his head was very identifiable, um, very unique. Yeah, it's Beaker. We got it. Oh, and this little radio piece. So you're going to feel for the little radio antenna piece connected to the little, like, what feels like a tile piece with the handle or whatever. But you could just feel the little skinny, little tiny antenna with the ball that's connected. It's one piece right here. So once you feel for that piece, and then you can confirm that it also has one of two that has a tile piece like that. The other one is the uh, wall drill here with the computer, the keyboard right there. It's the same type of tile piece. But a tile piece with this little radio antenna thing, that's how you know it's bigger. Then again... You also have his head, you know, with big, big nose and the kind of scruffy top right there. It's elongated, so it's real easy to feel for him. Beaker is absolutely amazing here, guys. He looks really good. I absolutely love the expression on his face. They, they captured him perfectly well, guys. And again, you're going to be able to feel that head without a problem, guys. It's the best way to identify him. And also with that little tile piece. It feels like a tile piece with an antenna you're going to be able to distinguish that little antenna right there fairly easy but guys amazing print in the front goes all the way down to the leg looks like it got dual molded legs the print goes on the side no arm print unfortunately and doesn't seem like he has any back print either but that's the essence of him he's got a uh, seems like a robe a little doctor's robe or, or scientist's robe whatever you want to call it with some boots on but that is beaker guys he looks absolutely amazing looks pretty cool definitely one of my favorites too but yeah that's all of them guys 12 for 12 baby well there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is the complete set of the cmf muffets here from lego um the the feel we were we were 100 percent guys we were 12 for 12 on the field test here guys it was actually fairly easy in my opinion you guys can definitely take your time and get these 12 minifigures in your collection guys so I'm not even gonna have to open up these uh these last 24 sets right here hell i might even turn these we go take them back. No, no, they're too good. I'm going to stay here sealed. Hopefully one day I can get the encouragement from my fans and my followers out there. Get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm thinking 1,000 subscribers would be a really great giveaway to give a set of CMF. Either this one or the Marvel that I have extra over there as well, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, guys. And definitely don't forget to subscribe if you want your chance to win on my subscriber giveaway. Um, we're giving away at the 500 subscriber, the Batmobile. Last year's May the 4th promo gift. And additionally, $40 for you to spend at Lego.com. So it's a $100 total value, guys, for you guys to get a chance to win. But you got to be a subscriber. You got to comment, guys. You got to smash that like button. I love you guys. May the force be with you. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the complete set of the... Well, there you have it, guys. This is the complete. <clears throat> so, don't forget to smash that like and guys. That like and <laughs> don't forget to smash that like it. Oh my God. Don't. <laughs> no. <laughs>